according to data collected by F. Barbara Orlans for her book, In the Name of Science, Issues in Responsible Animal Experimentation, 60% of all animals used in testing are used in biomedical research and product safety testing. People have different feelings for animals. Many look upon animals as companions, while others view animals as means for advancing medical techniques or furthering experimental research. However, individuals perceive animals, the fact remains that animals are being exploited by research facilities and cosmetic companies all across the country and around the world. Although humans often benefit from successful animal research, the pain, the suffering, and the deaths of animals are not worth the possible human benefits. Therefore, animals should not be used in research or to test the safety of products. First, animals' rights are violated when they are used in research. Tom Bregan, a philosophy professor at North Carolina State University states, Animals have a basic moral right to respectful treatment. This inherent value is not uh, respected when animals are reduced to being mere tools in scientific experiment. Animals and people are alike in many ways. They both feel, think, behave, and experience pain. Thus, animals should be treated with the same respect as humans. Yet, animals' rights are violated when they are used in research because they are not given a choice. Animals are subjected to tests that are often painful or cause permanent damage or death, and they are never given the option of not participating in the experiment. Animals do not willingly sacrifice themselves for the advancement of human welfare and new technology and their decisions are made for them because they cannot vocalize their own preferences and choices. When humans decide the fate of animals in research environments, the animals' rights are taken away without any thought of their well-being or the quality of their lives. Therefore, animal experimentation should be stopped because it violates the right animals, the rights of animals. Uh, next. The pain and suffering that experimental animals are subject uh, to is not worth any possible benefits to humans. Animals feel pain in many of the same ways that humans do. In fact, the reaction to pain are virtually identical but humans animals scream, for example. When animals are used for product tox toxicity testing or testing or laboratory research, they are subjected to painful and deadly experiments. Two of most commonly used toxicity tests are the DRIS test and the LD50 test, both of which are infamous for the intense pain and suffering they inflict upon experimental animals. Uh, in the DRIS test, the substance of product being tested is placed in the eye of an animal, generally a rabbit, uh, is used for this test. Then the animal is monitored for damage to the cornea and other tissues in the near eye. This test is Intensely painful for the animal and blindness, scarring, and that are generally the end results. The dress test has been criticized for being a reliable and needless waste of animal life. The LD50 test is just used to test the dosage of substance that is necessary to cause death in 50% to the animal subjects within a certain amount of time. To perform this test, the researchers hook the animals up to tops that pump huge amount of test products into their stomach until they die. Uh, this test is extremely painful to the animals because that can take days or even weeks. The use of brace test and the LD50 test to examine product toxicity has decreased over the past few years, but these tests have not been eliminated completely. Finally, the testing of products on animals is completely unnecessary because viable alternatives are available. Many cosmetic companies, for example, have sought better ways to test their products without use of animal subjects. In Against Animal Testing, a pamphlet published by The Body Shop, a well-known cosmetics and bad, product, and bad product company based in London, the development of products that use natural ingredients like bananas and basil nut oil, as well as others with a long history of safe, of safe human usage, is advocated instead of testing on animals. Furthermore, the, the DRIS test has become practically obsolete because of the development of a synthetic cellular tissue that closely res resembles human skin. Another alternative to this test is a product called Itex. This synthetic material turns opaque when the product damages it, closely resembling the way that the real eye reacts to harmful substances. 
This test has been proven to be useful and reliable alternative to testing product on live animals. However, many people believe that animal testing is justified because the animals are sacrificed to uh, are sacrificed to make products suffer for human use and consumption. The problem with this with this reasoning is that the animal safety, well-being, and quality of life is generally not consideration. Not a consideration. Experimental animals are virtually tortured to death. And all of these tests are done in the interest of human welfare without any thought to how the animals are treated. Others respond that animals themselves benefit from animal research. Yet an article entitled, Is your experiment really necessary? Sheila Silcock, a research consultant for the RSPCA, stated, Animals may themselves be the beneficiaries of animal experiments, but the value we place on the quality of their lives is determined by their perceived value to humans. Making humans less better should not be justification for torturing and exploiting animals. The value that humans place on their own life should be extended to the lives of animals as well. In conclusion, animal testing should be eliminated because it violates animal rights, it causes pain and suffering to the experimental animals, and other means of testing product toxicity are available. Humans cannot justify making life better for themselves by randomly torturing and executing thousands of animals per year to perform laboratory, laboratory experiments or to test products. Animals should be treated with respect and dignity, and this, and this right to decent treatment is not upheld when, imo, when animals are exploited for selfish human gain. After all, humans are animals too.